step one is remove all of the screws from the back side. Actually, step one is rem remove the power from your computer. Step two is remove all the screws. Um, they're pretty easy to see. You can see all the holes that they're in, and then there's one underneath each of these little bumpers towards the front on the space bar side. So once you get all those removed, you flip it over and take the top part off. I'm going to do that, and then I'll come back. Okay, once you uh, remove the keyboard, por the key portion, you remove these three screws over here on the uh, circuit board. There, it's what holds the circuit board in, and they're different than the other screws uh, that you removed, so you want to keep them separate. All the other screws from the back should be the same. Okay, this is the underside of the circuit board. What you're going to want to do is uh, connect the red wire from this portion over to the red wire of this portion. And you do that with a insulated uh, wire. Just pretty much anything that's uh, equal to or larger than the uh, red and black wires leading to this uh, bottom row of LEDs here along the bottom. Okay, this is what it should look like when you're done. You just uh, solder from the leftmost pin on the left side here over to this bottom connector here that's attached to this red wire that runs down the side of the keys. You can't see it in this shot, but you can see it back here in the back. So it's this guy right here. Um, yeah, and that's all you do. So this one's actually plugged in, and you can... In this stage, you can plug it in to make sure uh, what you did worked. Um, at this point, I would think you probably voided your warranty. So, uh, but it should be all lit up. Um, if you were not careful when you removed the top, you could have dislodged uh, some of these panels. So there's two sheets of thin plastic that actually makes up the circuit and then, I guess there's three um, and then there's this piece of what looks like a uh, plexiglass that transmits the light that shines up through the keys um, and below that there's a very thin sheet of white uh, plastic I had that I somehow pulled that sheet of white plastic up on top of the LEDs and it wasn't transmitting light through the acrylic like it should have been so it that half of the board wasn't properly lit so just keep an eye on that if you have those problems it's probably something to do with uh, how these LEDs actually attach to the acrylic so and then at this point you just um, I would unplug it right now before you do it and then reattach this section with the screws the way you um, same way you took them out flip it over and put the screws back in uh, and you should be done. From now on, the scroll lock should have no effect on your keyboard. So, um, good luck. Thanks.